everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kennedy Price and I make videos on motherhood and family. And this video is going to be what you really need for the first three months of a baby's life, as well as what you don't need. And my honest and not sponsored, unbiased, totally, totally forthright, candid review on the snoo bassinet. So without further ado, I will just jump right into the video. If you have not already, please, please, please subscribe. I would so appreciate it. And if you end up liking this video, if you would leave a like down below, that would be so awesome too. First things first, what you really do need for the first three months of a baby's life. Add these things to your shopping list, add these things to your registry, but these are the essentials that I have learned from having not just one, but two babies. Uh, these are the things they really need. Honestly, babies don't really need a whole lot more than just their mommy, but if you are wondering what should I add to my registry? What do I really need for my baby? These are the things. So anyway, you will need a place to set your baby down. So I recommend newborn loungers or bouncers or anything like that. I think we have right now two bouncers that we're using, one upstairs, one downstairs, and then we also have two kind of lounger things. So I have the boppy lounger and the snuggle me lounger, but honestly, any of those types of deals where you can just put your baby in it and have them kind of safely um, reclining, like lying back in something, um, where they're safe and you can set them down, you can do what you need to do. Um, I will say these are not safe for sleep, so don't use them for sleep because of the risks of like positional asphyxiation or anything like that. Um, but as just like setting them, supervising them while you're folding laundry or whatever else, if you need to be hands-free, super helpful. So next thing, sleep and play outfits. For the first three months of a baby's life, I don't really ever dress them in like super cute fancy outfits. Like maybe you would dress them in like a nicer onesie or something like once a month. I don't know. So maybe get like one, two or three max cute outfits, but they are so tiny and you really like, I felt just bad like messing with their little bodies, changing them in and out of outfits and, and what they're most comfy in and they can go all day and all night in is not, you know, all day, all night, every day, the same outfit, but like they can wear it during the day, they can wear it at night. These sleep and play outfits are so comfy. And I actually prefer the ones where the zipper starts at the bottom, like, so it zips from the top, but it zips down rather than like the zip going up when it's closing. So it, it zips closed downwards and then going open, you pull the zipper up and the ones that only have that one zipper. So that way, if they have a blowout um, and you're changing their diaper, you don't have to like put the leg back in, zip it up, undo from the top, take it off of them. You can just like do the zipper from the bottom um, and then the zipper from the bottom for your diaper change is just really convenient rather than unzipping the whole thing, having their tummy out and cold and whatever else. So sleep and play outfits are a huge win and I would probably get like gender neutral ones if it's your first baby because then you can use them for subsequent babies. And um, I have like a couple with snaps and a couple of the magnetic ones, but honestly the magnetic ones are not that much faster or easier than zips. So really just it's the soft onesies with the feet on them. Um, so that their feet stay warm. Those sleep and play outfits are awesome. Target has amazing ones. I think the brand that I like is, um, oh, it's not the Just One You because that has the two zippers, but it's the other one that Target carries. I can't remember, whatever it is. Um, next, what you will need are burp cloths. Both of my boys have been big um, spitters. Like they spit up so much and burp cloths come in handy. We use burp cloths to wipe boogers, burp cloths for spit up, obviously. Burp cloths for covering up when you're nursing, burp cloths for just wiping things off their face. Um, tons of burp cloths. I got the really soft ones that are the kind of like muslin fabric from Amazon and I really, really, really recommend those. Um, just make sure you get a bunch, like 12, um, and just keep them clean, keep them going in the laundry, and those are crucial. Next, 
what you will need, whether you're nursing or not, but like especially if you are nursing, you will need a large cup of water. So that could be one of those Stanley cups. I recently was given one of those and I absolutely love it. I've been drinking so much more water or really just any kind kind of big refillable cup that you can put ice cold water in. That's what I like. Um, but even if you're not nursing, uh, still great to stay hydrated and remind yourself to keep drinking water, despite the fact that now you have all of these other responsibilities with your baby and, and other things to remember as well. Keep drinking water. Water is going to help your, your body heal after childbirth. It's going to keep you hydrated if you're nursing. It's going to keep you hydrated if you're not nursing. Um, so a big cup. Highly recommend it. I will put pictures of everything that I'm showing um, up on the screen as well as link all my favorite stuff down below. So next, um, if you are nursing and you want to save milk in the freezer, I highly recommend saving some extra kind of like building up a little bit of a freezer stash um, e even if you're just planning on nursing but just so you have some backup in case you want to go out on a date night or go for a weekend away or something like that. Having some in the freezer is really helpful and I've used a bunch of the different bags so I this time have used a bunch of Medela bags but now that I'm unfreezing some of that milk and pouring it into bottles for my baby as he goes to daycare, um, I'm realizing that the Medela bags are not my favorite. So I would actually recommend the um, Nano Baby bags. They are the little like kind of semi-circle shaped ones. Um, they're a little more expensive than other bags, but they are the easiest to thaw and they pour out really easy into a bottle. And I can't tell you how many times these Medela bags have spilled some of the milk um, out of the bag when I'm trying to pour it into a bottle. And it is like so frustrating, but I've already used so many of them because I froze a whole bunch before I started unfreezing them and I didn't know how annoying the bags would be to unfreeze and pour. So anyway, Nano Baby, they, those are my favorite. I have some of those and they're the best. If you um, don't wanna spend the money on the Nano Baby ones, I don't blame you. That's why I started using the Medela ones, but I would actually recommend the Lansino milk bags over the Medela. I feel like they're really, really similar, but they um, they just pour into bottles a little bit better and they're kind of a little bit easier to thaw. They're a little more flexible than the Medela ones and I just really have had a better experience with those. Have not spilled milk from the Lansino or from the Nano Baby, but I've spilled so much milk from the Medela ones, so I don't recommend those. I have a Medela pump. The pump is great. The bags are not great. Um, next, I would say having at least, so speaking on the topic of pumping and all that, um, my Medela pump has been great, my electric pump that I'm referring to. I also had the Lansino with my first baby. I actually like the, um, I don't know, I like both of them the same. Um, I don't really have a preference over the Medela or the Lansino smart pump. I have liked either of them, but I never, I think you can connect the Lansino one to your phone, but I've never really used that feature. Um, in addition to that though, you will want at least one hand pump. You can buy these at Target. I have a Lansino and a Medela um, of the hand pump, just in case you're on the go, but you still need a pump, then you don't have to bring your electric pump with you. And it's just really, really convenient, those hand pumps. I have two, um, I'm gonna get another one. I think you can't have enough of those. They're just awesome. And you can take the bottles off and put a new bottle on if you need to um, pump more than five ounces or whatever, if, if you haven't pumped in a while or haven't fed your baby in a while, anyway. So hand pumps and, on, and an electric pump. Also, if you have health insurance, you can get your breast pump, your electric pump through your health insurance. So what I did is I went to Aeroflow. I will link it in the description of this video, but you don't have to buy your pump um, outright. You can get at least a subsidized one if you have health insurance um, through Aeroflow. So I'll link that below and the website makes it super easy. I got mine for free both times and I got a new one with my second pregnancy. So that was awesome. Next thing that I would recommend would be a wrap baby carrier, especially for the first three months. I absolutely love wearing my baby in a little wrap carrier and the, the clip on kind of ones, I feel like they're really great for bigger babies, but for like a teeny tiny little newborn baby, there's something really nice about just that 
fully adjustable, fits perfectly your body and their body in this wrap. And there's like the little strap that goes over your shoulder that you can kind of tuck their head in. Plus they're super cute. I have some really cute ones from Solly Baby that I will link down below. Um, and then I also have a few others I'll put in the description. Um, which ones I like and why, whether it's because they're cute, whether they're the most soft, the most stretchy or whatever. Um, I'll link a few of my favorites down below. Next thing that you absolutely need for the first three months of a baby's life, goes without saying, but I'm gonna say it anyway, is you need a safe place for them to sleep. And the safest way for babies to sleep is on their back in a crib or a bassinet with nothing else other than the baby in like their safe, you know, pajamas in the crib or bassinet. No blankets, no pajamas, no or no blankets, no pillows, no stuffed animals, um, no bumpers on the side of the crib, nothing like that. You really just want like to lay them down and let them sleep and no frills. That's all they need. I love having my baby in the room with me. The World Health Organization recommends you have your baby in the room with you for the first 12 months of life if you can and I have absolutely loved it. Jeff wants us to move baby William out of our room sooner rather than later but we are hoping to make it to six months um, which is only two months from now. So. Maybe we'll make it there, but um, anyway, just a, so a safe place for your baby to sleep. You definitely need that for the first three months of their lives. And the last thing that I will recommend that is a must have for the first three months of baby's life are glass bottles. I did not know this with my first baby, um, but now I know it with my second baby, is when you are heating up the milk in the bottle, um, you never know what kind of microplastics and chemicals from the plastic could be getting into the milk while it, while that plastic is being heated up and the milk is being heated up. So, um, you know, even if it is a BPA free plastic, actually, I think they did a, a research study and it said that 70% of the plastics that say BPA free actually turned out to have BPA in them. So anyway, um, that is one of my essentials now is glass bottles. Um, I will link the ones that I use down below, but these have been awesome. They are no more difficult to use than a plastic bottle and I absolutely love them. Um, if your daycare does not allow glass bottles, you normally can bring them as long as they're in like a little silicone cover kind of thing. So I'll link some of those as well. Okay, so now the popular things that I really feel like you don't need for the first three months of a baby's life are gonna be um, cute outfits, like I said, um, pacifiers. So my first baby, Shepard, took a passy and it was great for the time that he took it and he loved it, but um, it was great, especially if he would be crying in the car. However, I do feel like he didn't need it those times. It was kind of a nice to have and we could have just helped him to to settle down and kind of soothe himself in other ways without having a pacifier in the car. And then weaning him off the pass seat was an absolute nightmare. It was months of having to change sleep behaviors, sleep patterns, those kinds of things. So we, William did not want to take a pass seat when he, um, you know, was first born and a newborn, but uh, I kind of don't mind that because I won't have to wean him off of it eventually and that was just an awful, awful experience. So I did see him at daycare with a passy in his mouth yesterday when I picked him up and I was not thrilled about that. So I'm gonna have to talk to them and tell them like, please don't give him a passy. There's a reason we're not sending him with one. Um, but anyway, uh, and then the other thing you really don't need is an elaborate nursery. William's nursery is still unfinished. We are staying with family right now, and so he's just in our room in a travel bassinet. But um, I, his nursery was not finished when he was born, and it won't be for a while, and um, that's okay because he's baby and he won't know the difference. And if you want to do like your newborn photo shoot um, in the nursery, then maybe uh, finishing it before they're born. But if not, then I would encourage you just wait and choose, you know, choose things over time that really um, make it a special room for that baby. But even if you never give them an elaborate room or their own room or um, an elaborate nursery, anything like that, you really don't need it. It's just an extra kind of over the top thing um, that if you really like interior design or that kind of thing that you can do. But 
anyway, that being said, um, snoo review. So this falls into my things you don't need for a baby. We were told to get this. We were told that you had to have a snoo and that it was the best thing ever um, before Shepard was born. And so we bought it on Black Friday. They do have a really good sale on Black Friday. I think it's like 40% off. So that's why we bought it then. And, um, or you can rent it, but the thing is, is it's very, very expensive. And my babies, both of them have not liked the snoo. We ended up just using it as um, like a standstill regular bassinet. We don't use the feature. It kind of shakes and makes noise to try to soothe the baby and make them go back to sleep when they're crying. But the thing is, is when a newborn is waking up throughout the night, that's natural and normal. And usually it's because they're hungry and need to eat. And I wouldn't want them to be kind of discouraged from that or shushed or soothed back to sleep when they're hungry and we want them to be eating and gaining weight and growing. So um, I don't recommend the snoo. And it's, to me was uh, not, I hate saying it was a waste of money because at the time we really believed that it was gonna be a game changer, but we didn't get all out of it that, it's um, you know meant to be used for, and for that reason, we could have gotten things that were a lot cheaper. Like we have a travel bassinet that we're using now for William, and it was like a hundred dollars compared to you know I think the snoo at the time we got it was twelve hundred. Now it's like sixteen hundred, and and we were using them exactly the same way, just as a flat, safe space for baby to sleep. So um, anyway, that is my honest review on the snoo. Um, for our babies, it freaked them out and they did not want um, to, you know, have the jostling motion. It just made them cry harder. So we ended up not using it for that. And for that reason, I would not pay that much. Um, so anyway, hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave a like down below. Uh, please subscribe if you have not already. I would appreciate it so, so much. And uh, if there are any other kind of mommy advice or any other things that you have a question on, whether that's, should I get this for my baby? I'm, you know, if you're, if you're expecting um, or if you have a newborn, those kinds of things, leave all of that in the comments. I would love to just interact with you if you're watching this video. I would love to share kind of my experience or get your opinion on some of the things that um, I shared. And anyway, I will see y'all in the next video.